In this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely bag the gun bunch with the best defensive coverage in Madden 22, and that is the cover six. I think I'm going to go on record right now and say cover six is the best defense in the game. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because it's the most adaptable defense. You can Mabel out of this coverage. So if you want to play zone drops, you can play zone drops. You mat, you have, it's a, it's built-in match defense, so it's it's got great match coverage principles. It's got essentially it's going to play like uh, cover four palms against three by one and against two by two. It's going to play like cover four quarters. You're going to get a box check if you're going to play bunch or bunch tight end or compression uh, on that cover four side, and then it's also got built-in principles from the cover two sink, which are really really good for the solo wide receiver side out of the bunch side. Um, and you can easily adjust this coverage to turn it into cover four quarters, which I think is really, really, really cool. And then also the beauty of this is the cover six is found in most, almost every single formation in the game. And this formation or those formations that it's found in specifically two, four, five, odd, three, three, five, odd, nickel, triple, as well as a couple of others, um, like dime one, four, six or dollar three, two, six are the best blitzing concepts, the best blitzing defenses in the entire game. So that being said, I feel like cover six is the defense that you have to commit to if you want to really, I think, be effective in this year's game. So we're going to show you how to absolutely bag um, the gun bunch with this cover six. I've been running a lot of cover six this year, but right now I'm kind of fully committing to it. And uh, I just am really, really pumped to break this down because it's super simple uh, in terms of how we're going to adjust this to stop bunch. So how do we adjust cover six to stop bunch? Literally, it's really, really easy. Now, a couple things right off the bat. If we shift our line to the left, our linebackers to the left, you're going to see that's going to put this three red hook right over the center. I feel like that actually does help us um, against the run. If we shift our linebackers to the right, you're going to see it's going to do that right there. Um, so those are some just kind of formational adjustments. Now, the way cover six works, like I said, we get this box check on the right. So it's going to basically be cover four quarters. Uh, to the right, this outside defender ward will stop every corner route in the game. Every single corner route in the game. Okay, this guy Hill right here is going to do a good job of stopping first to the flat. So any kind of flat route to the tight end or whatever, um, this guy is going to be able to take. And then you've got this inside corner who he's going to be the top inside corner of the box. And essentially his responsibility is to take any seam streaks up the seam. And then on the back side, you have this kind of adjustment which I really love this right here what we're basically going to do is we are going to play a soft squat and a deep half now really important really 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 important you have an option you can turn this soft squat into a hard flat if you want to you only you don't have to do that every time you can make you can play chess sometimes he could be in a cloud flat sometimes he could be in a soft squat sometimes he could be in a hard flat if he's in a hard flat he'll stop every flat route to the left side He'll stop every drag route. He'll stop every running back out route. Um, especially if you put Acrobat on that corner, he is going to be able to get some crazy animations. However, if you want to stop something like Flood, where they're only sending, where they're sending this guy to the, the middle of the field, and they might not even put the back on a route, especially because of the pressure we're going to be sending out of this, um, you could just leave him on soft squat. He's going to carry Evans vertical if the running back doesn't go to the flat. If the running back goes to the flat, he'll release, he'll come back, and cover the flat. So the point of this is to say, I would go back and forth. I would, you know, sometimes he's in a soft squat, sometimes he's in a hard flat, sometimes he's in a cloud flat, okay? If he's in a cloud flat, he's gonna do a really good job um, defending, you know, anything like a C route or a corner route to the left side. Um, that's what he's gonna do, which against Bunch, he'll actually carry crossers fairly well. Um, let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna put him in a cloud flat here, and I'm gonna show you the play of verticals. So I've got that vertical streak. Well, cloud flats carry vertical streaks. See how far back he gets on this? So he does come down and the, and the crosser is open, but the point is like you can't just snap throw a crosser. Or if they have a slant route, it'll be really good for a slant route as well, okay? Now, so all that to say, that's kind of how the basics of the coverage work. So how do we adjust it? Well, the biggest bomb that people are going to use against you is this right here. They're going to put a corner route from clear out and for whatever reason, the game just bugs out, and you'll see that circle um, will get wide open. Now, I want to really be very clear with something because um, I've had a lot of uh, comments um, about the way that I teach, to teach this defense. Every single Madden YouTuber will tell you that the best way to run match is to put that safety in a deep half on the right side. Almost every single one. 
They'll put that in their ebooks. They'll tell you that all day long. Okay? Here's the problem. If I put him in a deep half, this actually will be fine. You'll see here that your tight end post is, a, is open, but we'll talk about that in a second. Don't worry too much about that. The bomb's taken away. As long as the bunch is to the wide side of the field. However, because of the latest patch, there is a bug in the game, and I've talked about this on my channel. I put this in an updated my bunch guide. I've talked about this in the match game plan, all of that. If they put a corner route right here, and it's to the short side of the field, watch what happens. Circle, if you have a good pass lead, which Brady doesn't give me a great one, but as you can see, it's a one-play score. Now, real quick, if you're enjoying the video breakdown, I do want to encourage you to sign up for my Patreon. My Patreon is where I put all of my eBooks, all of my uh, exclusive tips and breakdowns and all that stuff. So I have 10 eBooks already over there, and we're planning to add more. Uh, we have seven defensive ebooks and three offensive ebooks. So if you want to take your game to the next level, I would really encourage you to sign up for my Patreon. You get access to all of that content for just ten dollars a month, and you can cancel that at any time. So as long as your subscription is active, you'll get access to everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So uh, be sure to head over there and sign up for that. There's a link in the description below. Okay, so you see that's an issue, and and I can do this. I mean. Probably 95 times out of 100, this is a problem. And I'll show it to you again. You'll see it's a problem. It's wide open every time. Every time. Okay? Another problem with deep halving, and we'll come back over to the wide side of the field to show this. Another major problem with deep halving. If you're playing someone that knows what they're doing from Gun Bunch, they will do this all day. So if I deep half that guy... They will literally, and of course I hit the stupid timeout. I wish the timeout button wasn't like the half the, the the whole controller. If they deep half, if or if you're playing someone, if you're running bunch and you play someone that deeps half, you are taught in every ebook that you will throw flood until the cows come home. You're going to throw flood every single time, regardless. And now, what are you going to do? They're going to throw flood every time, every time, every time, every time, every time. So. What I invented was a tactic last year that dealt with this. Um, and it was basically um, have a swing defender, right? So someone that's not doing anything that important. Have them basically solve the problem receiver. The problem receiver is the receiver that continues to cause issues. Like it's the receiver that will unlock bombs. It's the receiver that will unlock open out routes as you just saw they break the match okay who's that receiver in bunch well last year it was the outside receiver this year it's the inside receiver so all we're gonna do is we're gonna man up on clown on this this um, outside outside linebacker here which this guy could be a middle linebacker by the way we're gonna put him on man coverage on Grinkowski then what I like to do is take that quarter flat defender and turn that into a curl flat defender that's all you need to do. And then you're going to use this vertical hook right here, and you're going to be responsible for any crossing routes. Now, let me show you that clear out play that was so good in the beginning of the video. You're going to see here that if I run clear out SE out, this is no longer a one play touchdown. In fact, it's going to be an interception. So, what I've found is that people will still throw that all day long because they're just automatic used to this match. I'm throwing that route. Well, now you're not throwing that route, all right? Um, let me show you something else with that adjustment. So, uh, again, I'm just going to go to flood here. And, again, our adjustment is really simple. We're going to crash our line to the right. We're going to man up the defensive end on the right on the tight end. And we're going to take that uh, slot corner, and we're going to put him in a curl flat. And then I'm going to use her kind of right in here. And my responsibility is for any crossing routes coming from left or from right to left, or in a flood situation, my responsibility would be uh, the deep dig route. So what you're gonna see here is they run flood, and as you see, it's bagged, right? He, he didn't actually get his feet in bounds, and also that's gonna be a pick 95% of the time. 95% of the time, if they run that, it's going to be intercepted. And that is, in my opinion, why this defense is so good, because you can play a press coverage alignment against this. It looks exactly like man coverage. They go to flood. 
they throw it and I mean you see he's he's right in that area I mean he really is right in that area um, if you you know if you really want to um, you could actually put this guy on you could you could um, I mean there's a couple different ways you could stop this uh, you could also put him on a seam flat by the way as well it doesn't have to just be a curl flat I just like the curl flats um, the way they play the, the flats this year but what you'll see here here's a seam flat you'll see the seam flat see how he kind of baits it and that's just really good defense so that's how you bag gun bunch uh, from cover six now let me just kind of quickly run through a gauntlet of a couple of other things that I want to show so let's say they run a bunch trail against this so we're going to use the same concepts we're going to go man coverage and coral flat or seam flat we'll even put a wheel route to the back to try to get this thing canceled out and what you'll see is that deep half will basically pick that off every single time and so that's another thing that a lot of people like to do especially if you mix in some cover to sink or you mix in some nickel blitz too or you mix or some pinch too um, that's how this all works together so the beautiful thing about cover six is it's in a lot of formations that I would argue are the best formations to blitz out of in the game. It's in dollar. It's in three two. It's a three two six. It's in dime one four six. It's in every almost every nickel set, including two four five odd triple and uh, three three five odd, which in my opinion are the three best defenses in the game. So that being said, if you want to learn how to run cover six, the rest of the match defenses, and get access to any of my ebooks that I've released over the course of this season. Be sure to head over to the Patreon. It's 10 bucks a month. You can cancel it whenever you'd like. And again, I think this cover six defense is, I think it's just really good. It's just really, really, really good. It's deceptive. You're going to get some picks out of it. And you're going to force them at least, at the very least, you're going to force them to have to check it down. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get all my ebooks, there's a link down in the description.